Welcome back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite the battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me, too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had, and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. Yeah. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you are willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. I thought a steel cage match was the best possible solution to settle the issues between you and Bray Wyatt, but obviously I was wrong. So I've decided that at the Royal Rumble, you and Finn Balor will take on Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn in an Extreme Rules match. Do not express worry. I have made many successful jaunts to the multiverse. Or when exactly is it? The seven deities have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a calendar. Instead, it's all around us, all the time. Don't you remember from your last journey? Ah, oh, yes. On your previous visit, I believe your spirit was held in the vessel of an ostrich. Such a fantastic pheasant. Get ready to feel the buzz! It's buzz! Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 320 pounds, the prototype, Jose Carlos Mercer! Earlier today, I noticed Buzz backstage checking out some vintage Bret Hart matches on the WWE Network. He's apparently a big admirer of the Hitman. Oh, Buzz has good taste because when it comes to in-ring ability, there weren't too many better than the excellence of execution. Monday Night Raw, welcome to Balor Club.
and his partner from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. One of the most incredible athletes to ever step foot in Monday Night Raw, Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. A bona fide superstar the world over, Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger and more dangerous every single week in WWE. You can just feel the widespread respect that the WWE Universe has for Finn Balor. No nonsense, no gimmicks, no flips, just fists. Two men who proudly carry collective chips on their shoulders, and they've managed to use that, that bitterness to bring themselves to the big stage where it's their time to shine. I was talking to Scott Dawson in the back earlier tonight. Scott calls himself the tactician of the revival. Tag team oh, action man. in full effect, guys. And these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. The wind up and the pitch. Uppercut. Oh, nasty impact. It's Scott Dawson on the oh. defensive now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable wow. partner he can tag in here. of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. 
I don't think it's that much to ask. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. Ouch. Then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an this jumping knee strike on point. Now he's got to capitalize. What a leap! Here he goes. What should Dash Wilder do? He might have just ended this. Things look dire for Dash Wilder. Yeah, not looking good, Byron. Avoids trouble there. What a stop. Good grief. And tagged it as Scott Dawson. Scott Dawson be put on the offensive quickly here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are oh, Splarian. Got every ounce of this might be it. Oh my. Oh, what a kick to the face. God. This is all but over. This is what makes him one of the oh, what height. That should do it. He wants it one more time. Harsh impact. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Boom! <laughs> it's safe to say he had his opponent well scouted there. Brilliant analysis, Saxton. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Wow, I thought he was a god. I don't know where he gets the energy, but it seems endless right now. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. He has got to fight back. What are they going to do here? Closing moments maybe this match. Beautiful technique just when you thought Scott Dawson was out of this one. Dash Wilder has eyes to finish. What an incredible tag team contest. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. He ain't messing around. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Great match and a huge victory to boot. If these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody.